In typical fashion when it comes to me and Admix, a day after this video in which I've talked about the group's continuous improvements and impressive vocals, they dropped quite the masterpiece that was their tiny desk performance. Why is it such a big deal? I have at least three reasons. First, well, it's Animex, and you guys know that this group is very close to my heart. Second, they nailed it. And third, on a slightly more serious note, this is the kind of live singing that K-pop fans are so often deprived of. Tiny Desk in general is a great live format because of the minimal, absolutely minimal editing of the vocals and post-production. You immediately can tell how natural and raw the girls' voice sound. Compared to something like this, it's like... Night and day, you guys. Limujin service isn't quite as edited as it's live, but still Tiny Desk is the best at delivering high quality recording that's real and authentic. Not only do the voices sound very natural, but beautiful little imperfections like these make me think there's been also little to no pitch correction at all. A little fun fact for you, the mics that have been used here are called shotgun microphones and they're known for capturing audio with great precision and clarity. All of this makes for a great listening experience and gives K-pop fans something I believe we all need more of. In summary, this is so live. This performance should be cherished by anyone who's been dissatisfied with the omnipresent editing of live vocals in K-pop, even if only for its raw audio quality. However, there's still a lot more to this. Am I smiling right now? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> Let's discuss you guys. So I thought about how I should approach it and eventually I've decided to split the analysis into sections. The girls performed five songs and each song has its own section. For fun I've put those performances in an order from my least favorite to the one I cannot stop rewatching. One last thing, I am primarily going to focus on singing, that is just what I do. Let's go number five. While Animex may be known for their overt, loud, energetic presence and strong punchy vocals, this performance shows a different side of the group, more soft and mellow. The members adjust their delivery accordingly to the nature of the song. with flowy smooth phrasing and frequent switches to a light falsetto. Spoiler, she did so well in this, but I love the way Kyujin executed her parts. Her great intonation really shines. Because those melodies are pretty tricky and you could easily mess up. Also, has her falsetto always been this good? I enjoy how in the second half, Hyeon's strong chest voice peeks through just a little bit to keep things a bit more interesting in terms of dynamics. Moments like this can sometimes be left unnoticed by fans, but I want you guys to know that this is good dynamics control, good control of the airflow and beautiful support. Tasteful and controlled. I must say that Ji unfortunately doesn't get that much to work with here, even though she performs her parts well. Because of her rapper position, it is harder for her to shine. To me personally, it is Lily who is the heart of Love is Lonely. Her 
her bright, clear voice along with her interpretation and dynamics control does the trick, giving this both romantic and melancholic feel. Which is just what this song asked for. In general, this is a lovely performance that shows off NMX's versatility. And I know it's only number 5, but there's been some tough competition, you guys. This is so good. This performance is just like this song does itself. Colorful, eclectic, filled with good energy and exciting twists and turns. Dash is a great song to get creative with. And thank god, instead of 100 replicating the studio version, the members decide to shake things up. We get some delicious note changes and alternative melodies. So tasteful and refreshing. Actually, Hyeon said that the girls themselves came up with these, so that only makes it more impressive. Pei stands out to me in this for some reason. I love how flamboyant and expressive her delivery can be. Her style is an important asset to the group and shouldn't be overlooked. Vocally, the girls do a very good job, which is not shocking. But I have to say that it is impossible to ignore their enthusiasm and passion. Proving that when you know what you're doing, singing is not a punishment or torture, but a fun, enjoyable activity. Good singing and good vibes. Sign me up. Let me be honest. See that? Not my favorite Enmex song. To me, it's a bit like Dash, but without the special sauce. However, this performance has made me appreciate the song more. Not only that, but this version packs a punch that the studio version doesn't have in my opinion. For a song that's pretty chaotic, the members' delivery is effortlessly clear and precise. This is the definition of eating CDs. See that is by no means an easy song to sing, so the fact that the members make it look easy speaks to how skilled they all are. The energy in the room is through the roof and there is a lot to appreciate here. The way Hyewon opens the song as if she was singing gospel. Jiu's sassy attitude. Pei and Kujin handling their low parts, Lily's addicting low outlet. The MVP here to me was Sion. She's so focused, and her sweet but deadly tone works wonderfully in this song. I have replayed her humming part an unhealthy amount of times. I also loved her belting. I like the forward, slightly nasal, pointy placement. Hey, away, you 
It makes it easier for her to sing and also makes the part pop more. And the way she closes the vowel and adds quick vibrato scratches my brain in the right way. Oh, and this... Yeah, this is Animix. Brilliant, even if a little unserious. Second place belongs to Run For Roses. This is probably my favorite Animix song, so maybe I'm biased here. But maybe it's the brilliant arrangement that spices the track up even more, making Run For Roses into a full-on anime opening song. Kudos to talented musicians who made this arrangement come to life. Purely vocally speaking, everyone's doing a very good job. The girls are concentrated yet relaxed and consistently deliver vocals on a high level in terms of pitch and tonal quality. Pei is expressive as ever, Hyunwon continues to shine with her powerful voice, Jiu has a cool harmony moment with Pei, Sion does her best in the lower range. Kyujin demonstrates what a well-coordinated mix sounds like. Listen to this. Notice how she takes on a lighter approach on these top notes. They sound bright and easy, but once she descends into the more mid-range territory, she opts for a little heavier, fuller sound. I'm pointing this out because it's a simply smart decision on her part to do that, but also because she actually used to struggle with that part in the past. So to hear her sing it so easily in this shows she's been putting in work. Let me say once again that she's impressed me so much in this entire medley. Sion also has a very good belting moment here. The placement was locked in. She is not always the most consistent, however, a moment like this proves that she has a good technical instinct and absolutely can belt healthily and skillfully. From what I can tell, Lily's voice wasn't in the best condition during the recording. There is a bit more pushing, fatigue and tension. <laughs> I greatly appreciate the fact that she's always actively trying to do her best and have a good attitude, even despite a less than optimal condition. Lily is carrying the most vocally demanding parts and I'm sure she feels a sense of responsibility. I want to highlight how important Lily is to Anmix and how challenging her role in the group can be. Lily's vocal prowess shouldn't be taken for granted and her consistency over the two years and a half of Anmix's career is genuinely impressive. In general, this is a super polished performance of a song that's got a new life thanks to a fantastic arrangement. Well, if for some reason there was only one performance you could watch from Nmex's tiny desk, it would have to be Love Me Like This. I feel like this performance encapsulates 
everything that's so good about the whole medley and is for sure the most musically creative performance out of the grade 5. There is so much happening, I don't know where to even start. Well, the arrangement is awesome. It puts a jazzy, bluesy spin on this upbeat K-pop song, turning it into more of a classy, refined version of itself. The members' vocal creativity is also at its highest here. There are many fresh, tasty musical moments to bite into. Hyeonwon and Lily flavor the song in the most delicious way, demonstrating beautiful musicality and, of course, great intonation. Their harmony with the added modulation is chef's kiss and maybe my favorite moment in this whole thing. Kyujin continues to impress me with her balanced mixed register. This part used to be a bit shouty and unstable at times for her, but here it's the most effortless, well-placed belt. Still on the belting note, Sayun devours her part as well. With a natural, bright placement, I also love how she shapes her vowels here and doesn't have a very wide mouth, keeping a focused forward sound. This is some of Sion's best belting right here. Bay and Lily sound great together harmonizing. A combination I didn't know I needed but I did and I want more of it in the future. The girls are feeling themselves in the song, there is no doubt. The best way I can describe this performance is fucking delicious. You need to check it out. Giving the girls space and putting them in a calmer, more relaxed, more casual environment than what they're typically used to perform in has been the best decision. It truly let their vocals flourish in a way I haven't heard before. Those girls are beasts on stage able to tackle challenging choreographies with mics on, we all know that. But this was more intricate, more mature. This tiny desk is a feast for K-pop vocal enthusiasts and a testament to how deeply vocally skilled and competent NMIX is. Thank you NMIX and to anyone who's worked with them on this project. That is all I have for you guys in this video, it was fun to make. I've had a good time, I hope you've had a good time. As always, please let me know what you think about all this in the comments. I will see you in my next one. For now, bye guys. Bye guys.